Hello. Uh, we are looking back into the Psalms again for our prayers today and for God's strength and, and comfort during uh, this day. Uh, Psalm 11 uh, this today, if you would like to follow along as I read it, and then we'll be looking for some prayer thoughts and foundations uh, for our prayers, and, and, uh, uh, and then we'll spend some time in prayer. And I need to be honest with you, I'm resisting the urge. Some of these psalms are a little bit more challenging in terms of praying our way through them. I'd, I'd like to just go ahead and go to Psalm 23 and, and pray through that, or Psalm 51, or Psalm 32. There's so many that uh, are so wonderful in terms of prayers, Psalm 121. Certainly you can do that, um, but I'm going to continue here the, uh, the pattern of just going through each uh, psalm here day by day. And so this, today it's, it's Psalm 11. In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes the sons of men. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked and those who love violence his soul hates. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. Upright men will see his face. Well, haven't you heard this so many times in the last few days, how there is no normal right now. Everything in our world, our society, our lives has been turned topsy-turvy with the, with the onset of the coronavirus and lockdowns and stay-at-home orders. And, and yet in the midst of all of this that is changing, the Lord is our refuge. Verse 1, in the Lord I take refuge. Verse 3 references uh, times such as ours, the changing nature of them. When the foundations are being destroyed, as I said, uh, people talk about how there is no normal right now. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? Uh, we can turn to the Lord. Here is what is changeless. Verse 4, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. Also, uh, verse 7, this is a constant. This changes not. The Lord is is righteous. He loves justice. And those who love him, they will see his face as verse 7 promises. We, we seek his face now in prayer in the name of Jesus our Savior. Let's go to him in prayer. Lord, all our normals are out the window right now. There is no such thing as a routine or, or everyday normal life. So many people are out of work, Lord. So many Children are out of school. So many, so many people, Lord, are facing this illness. Uh, it's a reality to them. They have it or a loved one has it, and their world com seems completely shaken. And so for those who worlds, the world seems so shaken, Lord, we, we pray for them to be able to take refuge in you, that they would see you as the refuge, that they would see you as the, the changeless God, that you are still in your temple, you still reign, Lord, you still love righteousness and justice, Lord, and all who seek you in the name of Christ will see your face. And so show your face this day, Lord. Show your face through us as we reach out with Christian love to others. Show your face through the doctors and the nurses who, even behind masks, Lord, are showing com compassion and care and and great courage in reaching out and ministering and serving those who are ill with this virus. Protect them, Lord. And if it is your good and gracious will, heal all those who have been afflicted by this. Calm our hearts, Heavenly Father. Let us find peace in your presence. We pray and we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless your day.